What's up everyone, Trent here. Long Julia. Welcome back to the channel and we're here with the Sandman yes. trailer reaction from San Diego Comic Con. This is my most anticipated series of the year. It is an absolute perfect comic series. Neil Gaiman, I can't Neil wait. Neil Gaiman in general is just perfect. <laughs> That's all you need to say. You just need to say Just have a trailer pop up and say, by Neil, Neil Gaiman, Gaiman. fade Done. to black. That's yep. it. Awesome. It's going to be so hard to adapt. I can't wait to it's, see how they do it. It's going to be really interesting to see how, because there are some intense moments in this comic, yeah. how that's going to be adapted to the screen. Yeah, but anyway, let's check but it let's out. let's check it out. Let's go. I'm nervous, but so excited. Yay! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Sand from the pouch. Your waking world the hell. is shaped oh. by dreams. Ooh. Ooh, gates to hell. Dreams. Oh, the threshold looks great. Create. <gasps> Corinthian, which I must control. I love his voice. Ooh. He's out there looking for me. Oh, that's Isn't nice. It? Can you imagine the damage he could do? <laughs> Oh. Your dreams disappear when so much humanity. Humanity. I could do without dreams for a while. Yeah. yeah. I had a decent night's sleep in ages. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not some. Oh! <gasps> Dr. D! That's the... My favourite issue. Mm. Oh, Lucy. Gwendolyn is great. Look, oh, oh, look at her! I thought about giving up. Death. Job to do when I do it. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Desire. Rise with only everything, every thought. Oh, the teeth. Oh, look at him. Ah! Oh, the gates. Walk amongst the living, killing mortals for pleasure. I don't think dreams can die. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh! Oh, it turns out I fit right in. Ah, look at him! Yee! Pumpkin head! Dreams don't die. Yes! <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh, not long to go. Nice. Not long to go. That's that's intense. Yeah. So it looks like they're going preludes and nocturnes. The doll's house. Wow. Yeah, doll's house is intense. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> but my god, we got to see some more of the endless. Yes. And Desire and Desire's threshold, which is the the it's, again how egotistical of Desire to have a building that is the embodiment of you. Mm. It looks it's it's based on it's based on based you. on desire. Yeah. I love I love everything I saw then. Yes. We got the diner. Oh the with Doctor Des Doctor Destiny, John D. That is hands down the hardest the Ruby. part for me to get through, whether it's in the audiobook in the comic, because of what's happening through that. And it's done so yeah. well and gonna be seen alive's gonna be intense. It's going to it is going to be it's intense. Be intense. But I mean Gwendolyn Christ uh, Gwendolyn Christie is Lucifer. Mm. Those wings, I can't wait. Joanna mm. Constantine taking yes. the place, um, or coming in earlier and getting rid of um, John Constantine. Mm. So she's going to take uh, John's place overall. Yeah. I love the look of it. It looks so good. Dream's voice, or Morpheus's voice. Morpheus's was voice is perfect. Soft and eerie and threatening. Deep and, well, threatening. Un <laughs> unassumingly threatening. No, just threatening. And but the Corinthian with the Corinthian with the teeth. <laughs> oh. But it's a, it's enough of the it's enough of the story given away in there that my my creations, well his nightmares, yeah, his nightmares can't escape, escape into the real world. world, and the the yeah. Corinthian is that nightmare, nightmare that is just yeah he goes on a spree. It's wonderful, yeah. but um no it looks visually stunning. It's going to be heavy of themes, um, mm. religious connotations and um, various ideology, beautiful set pieces. The gates, uh, seemingly the gates to um, Lucifer's mm. uh, hell. Um, you got a good look at the uh, the dreaming, yes. um, and and the various um, characters. Lucian was in there, um, Merv Pumpkinhead. Yeah. Uh, but I loved 
the giant gates of ivory and um, ivory and horn, horn. or horn and ivory. Mm. They were stunning, but just all of it. It's visually amazing. It's gonna be just beautiful. <laughs> that's what. That's one that we're gonna be doing reactions to one hundred percent. I can't Look wait. Great, everyone's gonna see me gag at the at the diner scene. Fantastic. Yep. But no, it's it's gonna be good. I, I don't know how many episodes it's gonna be. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting but, to see how many it's. But I mean, the first the first arc in itself has some amazing episodes. The the twenty four hour diner one. The twenty four hour diner one. And is, then you have Death's introduction, introduction, which looks like it's following very similar to that. And I love the way Gaiman has presented Death in the comic. It's not a she, she's not it's, a it's villain not a, per se. She's a she's a necessity, but it's not a bad necessity. It's, it's a, bad I'm guiding I'm guiding the, the it, deceased, and I'm their friend. It's the friend, and it's always the concept I find interesting that the Grim Reaper is seen as the the bringer of death and the evil in the world. Well, it's not there. He's just your ferrier, and he's carrying you to the yeah. next world. And so having that, how he personified death in that really friendly form and in that cute adorable kind of girl to be your friend is so good yeah so i love it but no i'm very keen can't wait anyway tell us your thoughts on the trailer in the comments below i'm trent i'm julia as always keep keep it it nerdy. nerdy good night